Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to new video. So today we have here the all new 2024 Mercedes AMG and this is the C63S ePerformance. And today we are at the AMG Performance Center. Praise Savala, much special thanks for having us here today. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the new C63S, the changes with the engine and also with the design. Alright guys, so let's take a look at the exterior first. So here we have the most expensive paint which you can get on the new C63S and this is the graphite grey Manufacture Magno. This very beautiful dark shade of the grey and in many ways this is really like a dark spec. So here we have uh, the dark exterior paint, also the aerodynamic package, the aero package as well as the night package 1 and night package 2 so this car is as black as possible without being total black because you can also get the obsidian black metallic but you cannot get the black matte paint only the graphite grey is the darkest matte and only matte paint which you can get actually on the C63S as well so let you know definitely how do you like this paint so now let's take a look at the front of the car and here we have the new badge at the front nose, the Falterbach emblem, the AMG emblem, and also this cooling air duct at the hood. Let you know how to like this detail, similar to the GT Black series. And the car from the front looks very aggressive and very sporty. Just look at these front fenders, how they are sticking out of the body of the car. The car looks very good in terms of the stance and also the presence and uh, yeah I really like the front is my favorite part of the car but also the back we'll check it out shortly looks very very good. So here in the front we have the aerodynamic package which consists of these flaps and also you can see here in gloss black as well as this lower lip which goes to the side and upwards on the front bumper. So it gives the car more wide look, wide appearance if you take a look from the front and the car and also from the front and the side. Here is also the AMG grille with the vertical struts. This one is with AMG logo in chrome and the grille itself is actually in dark chrome. So the struts are in dark chrome, not in black but in dark chrome. Also the badge is flat, that means that behind that we can find the radar for the assistance system such as the Distronic and also the 360 cameras here at the front on top of the badge. So here we have the side intakes, take a look, uh, wide openings on both sides of the C63S ePerformance and also at the left side. Above it we can see the parking sensor and also the air goes around as an air curtain around the front of the vehicle as well. And here on the lower side we have another cooling with the flaps which can open and close. So when the car needs more air it will open and when it needs to warm up it's actually closed. So very clever system in that case. In terms of the lights here we have the digital light technology, the best which is offered at Mercedes-Benz. Before we had the multi-beam LEDs, the predecessor. Now we have the 1.3 million micrometers in each headlight. So 2.6 million together. And also I really like the design of the front headlights. So now we can open actually the front hood with the lever in the interior. And we can check out the power plant here. All right, so let's open the hood and check out the power plant. So here we have the 2.0 liter. P3 hybrid system, so at the front we can find a combustion engine and at the rear we have the hybrid system with electric motor. So together we have 680 horsepower. Here is a signature of a person which handcrafted this particular car in the Falterbach, the home of AMG in Germany. And this is the inline four, so four cylinder engine. Also the strut bar to secure the rigidity of this front section of the vehicle. We can see the huge turbocharger here at the front and this car pulling only from the engine 476 horsepower and from the electric motor 204 horsepower. So together we have 680 horsepower. The acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour or 62 miles per hour happens only in 3. 
four seconds and I actually saw in the videos that it can go around three seconds a little bit lower than that actually so that's very impressive in terms of the power and the top speed is 280 km per hour 174 miles per hour electronically limited and the engine is mated to AMG Speedshift MCT 9G transmission in terms of the turbocharger, this one is electrically assisted. We have virtual torque 1020 newton meters, and that is 752 pound feet of torque. So, in terms of the power, we have very impressive numbers. But let me know what do you think about the change from the V8 to the 2.0 liter four cylinder in the comment section down below. All right, so now let's take a look at the side of the vehicle and also at the wheels. So, here we have these really beautiful wheels. And these are once again the most expensive wheels which you can get on the C63S. These are the matte black y shape wheels, 20 inch. You can also get the 19 inch and 20 inch different designs. So I really like these. I think they look the best on the C63S. We have the 265, 35, 20 inch in the front tire size. And in this case we have the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S compound tires. AMG logo in white and great looking red brake calipers with black AMG logo. Also the ventilated brake discs. On the front fender we can find a turbo e-performance badge in dark chrome. That's because of the night package 2 or extended night package. And also this design went in gloss black. Also around the windows we have the gloss black and on the mirrors. That's because of the night package 1. As well as the side skirt in gloss black as well. Alright, so let's take a look at the profile from the front. I think it looks very business-like and also sportive and really good design in my opinion. I think this is the best looking C63S in the history of the AMG, that's for sure. Also take a look here at the chrome door handles. These are always chrome in terms of the, this model. So now let's take a look at the back wheels. So these are 275, 35, 20 inch at the back. Same compound, of course. And now let's take a look at the back. So here we can take a look at the rear design. Immediately what we can see that is different on this car is the aero package. You can see it on the boot and also the four exhaust pipes which are squared and give this car very good look in terms of the aerodynamics. Also these side flaps and also the diffuser blade which is underneath the diffuser itself and it is wrap around as well on the side so this is thanks to the aero package if you don't have the aero package then it would look less in your face less sporty that's for sure take a look here as i was talking about the flaps these are cosmetic and the diffuser blade as well as the lip on the boot the lip would be there but smaller one this one is larger one so it looks much better also the amg engraved and the iso tips and the AMG logo in dark chrome. This is thanks to the night package 2 or extended night package, as well as the Mercedes-Benz star in the middle, which is also in dark chrome. You can see against the Magro paint, it's looking very nice. And the C63S badge with the red surrounding, this is only for the hybrid version, so it looks very stunning in my opinion. And also I really like the design of the tail lamps. So looking very, very nice in my opinion. So let me know definitely how do you like the back of the vehicle. All right, so now let's take a look at the boot space. Let's open the trunk. So here we can see that because of the plug-in hybrid, we have the bump in the boot and that will take space in terms of the hybrid unit. So that's why we have a bump there. In terms of the volume, we have 280 liters that's 9.9 .9 cubic feet and you can see here the cables you don't actually need to carry them with yourself because you can charge the car with the driving actually in the race mode so that is something to keep in mind you don't have to take the cables with you you can leave them at home so that is uh, something where you can have more space and you can also fold the seats with the buttons on each side of the boot and you can close it here with touch of a button or you can kick under the wood as well as here with the key fob I'm going to show you. You can open it as well as close it with the key fob button as well. So that is also convenient. So you have three ways how you can open and close the boot actually. So here is the flap 
on the one side closer to the driver here in Europe and you can see here this is the charging port but you can drive this uh, in race mode and actually charge the batteries very fast so you don't need to charge this uh, but you can if you want as well at home if you want to leave in the morning in quiet electric mode so here we can take a look at the fuel tank cover but you need to press this button first in the driver door so now it opens automatically you can see hybrid there and also recommended tire pressure as well as the recommended fuel so you should use 98 or more octane here in Europe and you can see the tire pressures for winter summer and also different tire sizes as well as how much people and luggage you have in the vehicle so now let's close the fuel tank cover so here is the new AMG GIFOB with AMG logo underneath the Mercedes-Benz logo let me know how to like this one at the back we can also see the AMG logo as well so now let's take a look at the front we'll shortly hop inside and take a look at the interior in full detail and you can see here this beautiful black Nappa leather with Falterbach badge on the headrest and this is how the front looks from the back let me know how do you like this now we will take a look at the interior and also the infotainment system all right so this is the new AMG performance steering wheel with the largest MB star uh, in the middle also new AMG controls with the new graphics on the displays if you turn them on we can turn this off and if you turn them on check out the animation it has this very nice AMG logo animation so here with these toggles you can change driving modes so we can have a comfort mode then slippery mode individual you can also see it here on the middle screen or the central screen battery hold then we have electric mode sport mode sport plus and also the race mode so in electric mode if you press you can also change the recuperation so you can have it on zero then you can have a one two and three so you can also see it there on the display and with the left toggle you can change the suspension for example AMG right control it can be comfort sport and sport plus if you press on the display you can change the next setting like the transmission AMG dynamics then the sound and that's basically it you can change also what is on the top so very easy to change settings so the new C63 has actually new design layout so here we have the instrument panel display and the central display here in the middle and the whole dash is turned it six degrees towards the driver so now we can see it here the central screen and also the instrument panel display so the steering wheel here is finished in uh, Nappa leather and also the microfiber material like a microcut or a Dynamica depending which uh, model you have that's the name of this material very nice actually and uh, very comfortable and the trim here is a uh, carbon fiber so it looks uh, very sporty the display continues towards the middle console and underneath here we can find some storage space and adjustable cup holders as well also we can find here the USB-C port illuminated and wireless charger for a phone and some storage space as well also if your battery in the key fob discharge you can place the key fob right here as you can see there then it will be recognized by car so the steering wheel has a very nice grip and you can see the pedal shifters they have also new design they are very responsive and uh, very clicky I really like uh, the design so they are looking very nice and also you have uh, new toggles here for the C-Class this is for the transmission and the left one is for the wipers and also the lights here you can see the toggle for the main headlights parking lights 
and also parking light on one side as well as the rear fog light and here we have the Burmester surround sound system the 3D version, you can lock the car and unlock very nice ambient lighting fully electric seats as well as the memory seats you can heat them up or you can use the ventilation you can hear it right now and uh, here we have the buttons for the windows so we have actually double glazed windows here so um, much more sound isolation and very nice Burmester logo here as well as well as here and overall it feels much more premium than the previous generation the whole interior is uh, very very cool also these uh, very nice and clicky air vents you can also move them like this so you can adjust them how you want they are looking very very nice and the start stop button is here glove compartment so here we have some storage space also on the top as well as on the bottom and the dashboard is in the leather I believe this is a imitation leather but looking uh, very very nice in the middle here we have the armrest and underneath we can find the storage space to USB-C ports illuminated as well and the seats here are in uh, full black Napa leather so they look very very nice here we can see also a Falterbach emblem and these have a perforation for the ventilation the stitching here is like a light grey and a very nice quality of the leather for sure also this one is like a diamond stitched check it out also here in the doors very nice stitching as well the whole door card looks uh, very very nice so this panoramic sunroof consists from two sections and it brings a lot of light to the car's interior so the interior looks uh, really really gorgeous and uh, much more bright than without the sunroof and also check out here the red seat belts the car looks so good with these red seat belts I really love this feature also here we have the pre-save system you can see here the bag as well which you will check out later on the top we can find a panel where you control the sunroof and also the lights the whole panel is uh, illuminated so that's uh, really cool also the sunshade we have here the mirror with the light and also the microphone so it can be heard very nicely with the microphone so in terms of the driver screen you can change this here with the home button on the steering wheel so you can have a track pace super sport sport classic understated navigation assistance and service so the track pace shows you the g-force on the left side and speed and accelerator pedal brake pedal on the right side then we have the super sport which has uh, rpms going towards the side you can also change what is in the middle here if you swipe on the steering wheel so first we, we would have here the selected gear then we have the temperatures so here you can see that we have a temperature of the transmission then we have the engine oil the coolant and then temperatures for the hybrid setup then we have the sport one so um, here you cannot change anything and with the settings on the right side and temperatures on the left side 
And we classic one, here we have the RPMs on the right side and speed on the left side. And you can change what is in the middle, the temperatures, then the setup, engine, data, then we have the odometer, uh, consumption from start, from reset, and then we have eco display, consumption, attention assist, radio and the navigation in the middle. And then we have the understated, so this one you can change uh, the color of it, so it can be these colors. And on the left side you can see the speed, on the right side the RPMs, and also the middle here changes as well with the colors. And actually two people are talking next to me and I, I barely can notice that they are speaking. So the sound isolation is really good in this car. You can have also full screen navigation and uh, if you swipe you can also change the distance here. And then we have the assistance so the car will monitor the cars around you. And then in service we have the message uh, for the warning messages, then assist plus where is next service, the temperatures here and also the tire pressures and temperatures for the each uh, tire as well. And if you swipe up then you can see the heads up display. Heads up display can be track pace, race, super sport, standard, minimal, eco display, you can change the settings and you can turn it off uh, if you want as well. So my favorite is probably this one, the race mode. So this is how it looks with the race heads up display. We have a track pace here, this is a race with the ref counter. Then we have the super sport, standard, minimal and eco display as well. We can actually check out the charging. So here we have the 100% set, so you can set it from 50 up to 100. So you can set up the charge level, also charging program, standard, home or work, uh, departure time as well. And on the lower section we have always the AC, so if you turn this on, you can see the temperatures, climate menu. Here you can see the first row, second row, let's turn this off because it's uh, blowing actually um, here and it would not be good for the microphone so yeah this is how it is and then we have the navigation so the new navigation from the S class very responsive as you can see then we have the phone so you can connect two phones phone one and phone two and then we have the radio so you can see also DAB, which is a digital radio. And then we have the media, so the Bluetooth and the USB as well. Then we have apps, so Mercedes Me browser, license info, service and also the gallery. And then we have the comfort, so here you can see the seat kinetics, the seat will move a little bit forwards, backwards and up and down. You can position the seat automatically based on your height. And then you have ambient lighting with the colors, so you have 64 monochrome colors. And also multicolor options. So you can have uh, different colors like this uh, red one for example. Or you can have the one which is the most visible right now. So this is how it looks. So in terms of the ambient colors, we have the 64. And then multicolors, so we have the ocean blue. Looks like this. And then we have the Miami Rose, which has this sort of pink and peach colors. Then we have the Malibu Sunset, 
a lot of turquoise here in the vents and also pink and also here we have the pinks also we have um, effects here so multicolor animation this is a changing colors burning bloom then we have the venice pink looks like this then we have the chrome shine red moon red and blue then jungle green turquoise and uh, green then we have the ultramarine a lot of uh, blue as well then we have fresh cyan turquoise and blue then racing yellow this is a lot of yellow actually at night i tried this on a different car and it was a uh, pretty cool actually the racing orange also a cool color with the red and orange and brightness you can have at 1 and uh, 20 we had it actually at 15 so you can make it uh, even more more bright we had it like this on 15 and it can be on 20 so even brighter and if you check the most bright which is the one you can see now how bright so you can see now how bright it um, actually is really really bright so it looks absolutely fantastic here with effects we have warning when exiting climate multicolor animation and also the track pace then in the performance we have the energy flow so you can see how the hybrid works the drive has uh, information about the hybrid as well temperatures and in the vehicle we can see here um, how the suspension works and also how the steering rear will steer uh, what kind of angles can you achieve and also the front ones and here is the g-force and how much brake and accelerator you do use and temperatures and pressures of each tire so if i press on the brake check it out you can see the car is braking with all four wheels if i brake only a little bit this should actually disappear okay so if i brake a little bit you can see only a little brake and accelerator you can see also right now so 100 percent but the car is not moving so we cannot see the arrows uh, then in the engine you can see the kpa turbocharger pressure also newton meters and kilowatts temperature of the transmission and of the engine oil iwc clock so you can use this as a stopwatch or just as a design feature and then you can see the consumption as well for the hybrid and for the gas engine the track pace you can see the parameters here like the track race also drag race and the telemetry so if i press on the brake check it out you can see the telemetry and also the accelerator and you have uh, many more functions here which you can check out as well then in the settings we can see the assistance so for the drive distronic you can add up speed limit route based speed adjustment braking accelerator based on the dynamic select or it can be comfortable or dynamic then active steering assist this function helps you uh, to drive in the center of the lane using moderate steering interventions and active lane change assist so when possible and permitted the function actively steers when changing lanes then collision avoidance you can see the active brake assist function can help you minimize the risk of collisions with vehicles cyclists or pedestrians or reduce the effects of accidents warning brake application can be early medium or late then active lane keeping assist you can pause and read as well then we have active blind spot assist assistance traffic sign assist 
traffic light view, attention assist. So then we have camera GPS based activation. So if you press, the cameras will pop up when you arrive at your destination. Then we have open camera cover, parking. So you have a parking space in camera image in R, set warning tones, audio fade out, fade out time of warning, maneuvering assistant, and then racetrack. So only possible to set function after starting the vehicle. So then in settings we have vehicle, driving, winter tail limit, automatic filling station search, comfort easy entry and exit feature, roof roller sun blind, occupant protection bell adjustment, open close vehicle protection, automatic locking, acoustic lock, automatic mirror folding, open height limiter, and dynamic select. You can ask when starting, so when starting a vehicle you will be asked whether to whether the drive program should be adjusted to the one selected at the end of the last journey. And also here we have the individual mode, so drive can be uh, battery hold, electric, reduced, moderate, sport, dynamic or race, transmission, uh, manual or automatic, dynamics, basic, advanced, pro, master, suspension can be comfort, sport, sport plus, sound powerful or balanced, so you can set these things in the individual mode as well. You know, in lights we have digital light, dynamic low beam, welcome firewall projection as well, can be digital rain or AMG pattern or off, I like the AMG pattern, and supporting projections, spotlight warning alert and low beam, inter external lightning, locator lighting, inter lightning delay switch off, and extra lighting delay, ambient lighting we checked it before, and in here in the system we have voice assistant, Hey Mercedes, online recognition, activated and contact upload for online recognition, proactivity, don't forget your phone, this is very useful. And then in the language, you can see the languages, keyboard settings and uh, control elements, audio, greeting tone, park tonic, phone, voice output, entertainment. So here in Burmester you can see the personal sound profile can have it pure or 3D sound, uh, I really like the 3D sound more. Then equalizer, you can adjust bass, meets treble, balance and fader, sound focus, the front or the rear seats, and loudness normalization, I usually have it on the medium. And in info, owner's manual, system information and legal stuff, and smartphone integration, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. Also if you change driving modes you can change it here with the pencil so you can disable some of the modes if you don't really want to use them you can disable. And now you basically have only these modes. So you have only Sport Plus, Race Mode, Electric, Reduce Slippery and the Comfort. So you can see how the drive is changing and also the suspensions so really cool i will just enable all of them right now then you can also change here easily the transmission and in the race mode we have also the master which is only available if you actually turn off the traction control but the car needs to be started yes and you can turn it off and then we can have a master as well. In the setting selection, here you can also change here on this control unit what you want to have here. So you can add more, like the boost strategy, view of the camera, front rear, track pace, drag race, telemetry, charging, consumption, drive, dynamic select, vehicle data, engine data. So, for example, right now we have uh, more functions here. Boost. You can also see it there. Then front camera, if I turn this on, you can see the front camera image. You can also can have it as a widescreen. And on the left side we have a 360 view. 
in the back. Here we have the back, also it can be ultra wide. Now from the side, from other side, auto, as you drive, you will see the automatic image and GPS position saved. In the future camera, camera will be act automatically activated here. So here on this panel, here we have the AMG, this is for the driving modes. Then we have 360 cameras, then charging menu. And then we have the car functions, these are like uh, shortcuts. Then hazard lights, this is to identify with the finger sensor. You can turn off, then you can mute the volume and increase, decrease and the volume as well. Alright, now let's take a look at the back seats. We will shortly hop inside and I will show you the back seats. Alright, so this is how much legroom do I have in the new C63S performance. I would say this is about 2 inches, about 5 centimeters more or less. Same as in uh, non AMG C class. Here we have also heated seats. Very nice illumination, speaker, another one, some door pockets, and I can tuck my feet underneath the seat as well. So this needs to be adjusted. So you can also activate here the AC, so the rear section of the AC can be also activated and you can change the temperature, the fan, or you can leave it on automatic, and we can turn it off as well. You can close or adjust the vents as well in the back. Here we have also some storage space, overall comfortable sitting position. Here are the rear Napa seats. Very nice red seat belts and you can uh, attach the isofix for child seat here in the middle we can find the armrest so here in this position you can have like a phone or tablet and here we have uh, adjustable cup holders and yeah the stitching is really really gorgeous Ambulating also here in the back. Alright okay, guys, so here in the back of the C63S e performance. So my headroom is about, I would say, a few centimeters, maybe one and a half inches, I would say, like uh, three, four centimeters. Arm here, very comfortably. There is a blind spot monitor actually with the ambient lighting. Feel here, uh, very nice, I have to say, very roomy, thanks to the panoramic sunroof. Or I guess that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new S63S in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.